So what is recursion? Uh, we're going to look at two definitions here. The first one is a more general definition. Uh, and that says that recursion occurs when something is defined in terms of itself or of its type. Uh, so, you know, if you think about the, the word recur, right, something that reappears. So we're trying to define something in order to finish the definition, we end up actually using the thing itself. Um, so recursion is actually a, a broad concept that appears in a variety of different contexts. What we're going to focus on is it's used in computer science. Now, um, our uh, work with recursion is going to be uh, largely in terms of recursive implementations and thinking about recursive algorithms. When you get into other computer science courses, you will also see this come up in a more mathematical sense. Um, and that's one of the reasons, that's one of these places where there's some really beautiful synergy between the math and the actual code, right? Uh, what we're gonna focus on is the computer science uh, definition. Uh, whoops, I don't need a definition of computer science. What I want is the recursion definition of computer science. Um, and so what, what this says, and this is very close to, to the working definition that we'll use, is that recursion is a method of solving a problem. Okay, so you know we've, ta we've talked about algorithms. This is one of the core concerns of computer science as a field. And we've developed some algorithms together. Um, the algorithm that we've looked at have pursued a particular strategy, which is known as iteration. Um, and that solves a problem by repeating a set of steps. Recursion is a different family of problem solving approaches or a different method that instead takes a problem and it says here where the solution depends on solutions to smaller instances of the same problem. Such problems can generally be solved by iteration. So that's actually a really important thing to point out here. Um, to the degree, and we'll start to, as we get more practice with recursion, uh, today we're going to kind of look at uh, some of the overlap between recursive solutions and iterative solutions. Um, these are complementary problem solving techniques. Um, there are no problems that you can solve using recursion that you can't solve iteratively and also vice versa. So it's not like there's some problem that you can only solve one way or another. However, there are some problems where one of the solutions is much nicer than the other solution. It's much more elegant, it's much more compact, it's much more easy to understand. Um, and so, you know, even though iteration and recursion can solve all the same problems, there are problems where the recursive solution is much, much, much nicer. And there are problems where the iterative solution is much nicer as well. Um, so recursion solves, and here's another important part of the definition. Recursion solves problems by using functions that call themselves from within their own code. So this is something that takes some getting used to. So far, we've written methods that can call other methods, right? And those methods might call other methods. We have not looked yet at methods that call themselves. Now, this may seem weird. Um, and the thing, probably the best way to sort of get around this is to just kind of ignore it, right? To not think that this is weird, right? To just think, okay, well, if a function calls itself with a different argument, what happens? And we'll trace through some of the execution uh, when and, and see exactly how that works out. Um, okay, so uh, you know, the, so it says you know most computer programming languages support recursion. Um, what's interesting, however, here is that it says some functional programming languages do not define any looping constructs. So there's actually whole languages where you cannot iterate. There are languages that don't have a, a for loop. They don't have a loop of any kind. Um, and those languages can solve all the same problems instead of using looping and therefore iteration, they uh, you know, have you use exclusively recursive approaches. So I just want to, make, to emphasize, this is a very, very powerful approach to solving problems. It's not the right approach or the, the best approach for every problem. But you know, again, the existence of languages that don't allow you to even write a loop should uh, you know, indicate to you that this is a powerful enough technique to really apply to any algorithmic challenge. All right, so uh, here's our working definition. We'll come up with a little bit of a shorter version that you'll see uh, throughout the next few lessons, but you know, this is the official definition. Uh, now let's get started actually experimenting with this and solving some problems.